o'clock in the morning. Y'all hope you're doing great. Last night, I watched the Kamala Harris interview on Fox so that y'all don't have to because it's painful. And I love Brett Baer, y'all. I really do. But I feel like when he interviewed the squawking demon who has taken the human form of this woman called Kamala Harris or something like that, that he missed a few points. And we're going to straighten that out today. First off, this video is sponsored by Tax Network USA. Look, owing back taxes is worse than hearing Kamala's voice inside your alarm clock in the morning. Pandemic relief is over. The IRS just hired, what, 87,000 new agents to send pay-up letters to anybody with unfiled tax returns or balances owed. Don't negotiate with the IRS, y'all. They're not your friends. Tax Network USA is a private relief firm that saved over a billion dollars for clients, and they can help y'all. It doesn't matter if you've got 10,000 or 10 million owed business or personal, a lot of y'all are really nervous about this, and you don't need to be. So go to TNUSA.com slash buddy, or call 800-958-1000. Private free phone call, it's real easy, and I will put the link below. All right, y'all, so let me explain this to you in a way that I understand, in a way I think you will as well. Last night's interview was kind of like watching a game of dodgeball on the playground when the whole class absolutely despises this one kid and your best friend's got the chance to just slam him in the face and get that last dodgeball out and instead he goes for the ankles with a tiny little soft touch. That's what it felt like and the whole class later on is sitting there at lunch going, what the hell Jimmy? I mean you had the chance to go for the face shot and you go and hit him in the ankles with like a barely tap? No, you can't have my french fries. Matter of fact, go sit at another table. That's what it felt like. Come on, Brett. I mean, it was Fox News, not Tucker Carlson. What do we expect? Since nobody can interview this communist rat correctly, I'm going to do it for you right here in this video. Number one, the questions that Brett Bear asked her was actually pretty good, but I want to tell y'all something. If you've ever watched a volleyball game, okay, for other reasons than just looking at the shorts like my two teenage boys do, <laughs> you'll know that there's three parts to returning a volleyball. I just looked this up because I didn't know the terminology. Setting, passing, and spiking. Brett could set just fine. He could pass just fine, but the man can't spike. Y'all with me? Okay. Now, when he asked, how many people have you let illegally into America? Do you know the number, Kamala? She didn't know the answer. And he, he should have crossed his arms and just sat there and been like, I can sit here all freaking day. I can sit here all dadgum day until you come up with a number. And then I'll just tell you the number because he didn't press her hard enough. I would say, look into the camera to everybody that's struggling to just afford groceries right now as Americans and tell them, what you think that $175 billion you sent over to Ukraine could have done for Americans? Tell them, Kamala. Ready, set, go. Can y'all imagine what would have happened? Or, since you care about the black community so much, what could that $175 billion have done for them? Ah. Uh. These kind of interviews just stick in my crawl. You know what I'm saying? How about ask her why she flew 320,000 illegals in the middle of the night all across this country and then giving them money while our communities are getting nothing? How about the moment Brett Baer asked Kavala straight up? When was the moment that you noticed Joe Biden started mentally declining? And of course, she goes into this BS answer about how she's, he's the sharpest man in the room and all this kind of stuff. That was the moment for the spike, y'all. He should have immediately had the clip ready where Joe is turning around, shaking hands with the air and say, does this look like a mentally stable man? Are you kidding me? Do you want to fix your answer now? Because he's shaking hands with air and he's sniffing little girls. If you support this kind of behavior, I want your answer for it. And America deserves an answer for it right now. That's the freaking spike. Why does nobody go there in journalism? Why does nobody have the balls to do it? Kamala's kind of like the substitute teacher that comes in. She shows up in fourth period and she's completely hung over and she's got to teach something but she don't know what to teach. So she just takes the TV cart and rolls it on out there for the whole class and lets you watch a movie. <laughs> you remember this TV cart right here? That's exactly what she reminds me of. I really wish for one day, just one day, that they would let me be a journalist because I would be <laughs> turning this swamp goblin into absolute tears within about 60 seconds. And y'all know that's the truth. But we're gonna calm down a minute. <sighs> we're gonna relax. And I just wanna say a prayer and end it off with this. Pray with me, y'all. Lord. Please destroy the demons in the Democrat Party that are completely trampling on our lives and our way of life and our dreams and destroy the weakness in the Republican Party from doing nothing to prevent it and doing nothing to stand up against this evil. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And all God's people said, amen. Y'all be good. I'll see you again. I'm probably going to do a video on Saturday because there's a whole lot going on. Stay tuned for that. And I just hope that uh, you're getting your bows ready and your rifles ready because deer season is upon us. Y'all go to Tax Network USA. Get that stuff uh, filled out. If you got back taxes, it'll really help you out. I promise. Be good.